The Keen 7S Plus is a four-seater wagon that is recommended for ages 12 months and up. It has a 220-pound weight capacity for passengers and has two handlebars, one in the front and one in the back. Both of them are highly adjustable and can accommodate a wide variety of heights. I have noticed that the adjusting function on this wagon is a little bit loud. On the front, you have an insulated cooler bag that is spacious and included with purchase. You can buy a second one if you want to add it to the back. On the bottom, they have the traditional Keens kind of sandy shoe area, which is really great for all sorts of adventures. I hope in the future that Keens will add more pockets to the outside of this basket to create more storage. A really great feature is that they have front locking tires on this wagon. So great for going over different terrains. I love that they included this. The front tires are also very easy to remove with just a push of a button. This makes storing it in your trunk a lot easier. The 7S Plus also comes with an included snack tray and I wanted to give you a little bit of a visual on that. It does sit pretty high um, as the wagon is kind of geared toward older kids in my opinion. It is 12 inches from the seat bottom which will not be as comfortable for younger kids. As far as attaching the snack tray goes, it is very quick and easy to do. You may have to push those little attachment points back through the fabric from time to time. As I've noticed, they do slip back under it um, as you use the wagon. However, actually attaching it is a lot easier than some of the other four-seater wagons out there. I do recommend putting the brake on before you do it though, so the wagon doesn't roll away from you. This snack tray doesn't stay on quite as sturdy as other snack trays that we've tried, but there is very little risk of knees bumping it and dislodging it, so it's probably fine. On each side of the wagon, you have one of these storage pockets. It has two pockets on each side, actually, one larger and one smaller. You get a good shot here of those nice oversized tires. They're nice and flat, but they're also very easy to remove. That middle button, you're gonna to wanna to push it while removing and while putting the tire back on the wagon. It actually won't attach properly unless you're pushing that button. I like that the basket is not in the way here of the person pushing, you're not kicking it. And so they have these two nice big storage pockets on the back of the wagon. I love that you can buy an extra basket if you want to and add it on the back for more insulated storage. We had some custom patches made by the Bauer Embroidery Company. I'll link them down below in the description. You can add this on the back of your pocket there and it is so cute. You can put whatever design that she has in her shop. She has so many options, highly recommend. The brake is a little bit interesting in that it does go almost completely vertical to engage, but it is nice and quiet. The red color makes it easy to find. Folding the wagon is also really easy. You have to push this red button that is very firmly in place. So you push it hard, you reach down, you pull up on that center strap that's in the footwell, and you clip two buckles together. That's it. It's very simple and very sturdy. I also feel like this wagon in particular is easier to wheel around than some other types that we've had. You do want to make sure that those small front tires are pushed in toward the center. You can even lock them in that position, I think, to make it easier. But you can wheel it around so easily to the front and to the back, and you can pop it up on those big back tires and wheel it around. If you're taking this thing to the airport or something, like that makes transportation that much easier. So I do appreciate that that is um, something you can do with this wagon. We have had other four-seaters where this was definitely not the case. Just like folding, unfolding this wagon is also very simple. You're going to undo that buckle that you did to begin with, and it kind of pops right open if it needs very little help, and you just want to push down to engage that red lock on the side there. The 7S Plus does come with this cup holder included. I'm very familiar with this design. It is exactly like the Pronto cup holder that we already have, so it is universal. It does have a Velcro strap that you can attach to the handlebar. It holds nice big cups and your phone. Onto the canopy, we much prefer this pole style system than the family Z pole style system where you have to twist and do all this craziness. This is so much easier. It's just one slide button per pole and it bumps right down once you release it as well. And so they're very easy to engage and disengage. Likewise, the canopy is really easy to install as well. And I've noticed that it doesn't bend the poles in the way that other four seaters that we've had with this style of canopy do. Even the XC Plus from the same company, the Family Z, those both bent the poles in, but this one doesn't do that. It just fits very comfortably on the wagon and you don't feel like it's gonna break or it's too strained or anything like that. The material on the 7S Plus is very heavy duty, very on brand for the adventure wagon from this series and it's very durable. You can see kind of how thick it is. Um, maybe on that side panel, there is one side panel built into each long side of the wagon, total for two, and then the side, the small short sides are open. These panels are very easy to install, as you can see. You also have a sunroof option on the top of that canopy, so you can fully unzip 
and adjust how you like that canopy on the top. And to store these little panels away, very easy as well, undo the Velcro that you have attached on both sides. You roll it up like a hot dog style, I would say, and then it just tucks away with a toggle on each side. So two toggles per panel, very easy to do. Now, obviously these panels provide a lot of shade, but they also completely reduce visibility out of those long sides. That's something to consider if that's gonna annoy your kids or if they'll be fine just seeing out of the front and back ends. Moving into the wagon, there are four deep storage pockets on the inside, one per rider. You can see here that buckle that I was talking about for the fold. It's a little annoying that it hangs in like that. You do have these bars that are inside, obviously, of the frame. Not the comfiest for little kids especially. And these harnesses are extremely large. Even on their tightest setting, they are extremely large, but I do love the three to five point option. The seating area on this wagon is very generous on that seat depth and side to side. I love the optional footwell that this wagon has. Total game changer, you can have it flat or with a footwell and there's a zipper to remove any shoe gucks. For installation, you have this incredibly sturdy footwell plate. You're gonna thread that folding strap through to that plate and then you attach the Velcro. Then you're gonna do the zippers. The first one, I'm not gonna lie, was pretty tricky in the sense that I hadn't done it in a while. We just leave the footwell down. But when you do it, you get the hang of it. The next one is a lot easier. Now having an optional footwell is amazing, not only because it does allow for naps on the go, but also because some kids just don't prefer footwells. My kids just don't prefer them. So having the option to do it or not, if you prefer, is really great. Also worth noting that this plate is so sturdy and it's not flimsy like some of the other optional footwells I've seen. You can see here how tall the shoulder straps are. This wagon really is meant for older kids, for little babies and stuff like that. They won't be able to see out of the sides, but they also won't be properly fitted into the harness. There are some hard bars in there as well. This is a wider wagon, but it does fit through some public doors pretty easily. For dimensions, I recommend watching our comparison video between this and the Kings XC Plus for more information on that sort of thing. I have to say this is my favorite Kings wagon of all time. Those tires are just to die for and the features that they included are amazing. If you want to see how the adventure wagon performs on different terrains, we're going to be posting a video of that this week, so be on the lookout. As usual, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. We are happy to help. Liking, sharing, subscribing really supports our channel. Please follow us on Instagram to keep up with all the fun. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.